Hello friends, today we are diving into the future of AI right here on my desk. Check out this bad boy, the NVIDIA DGX Spark, the world's smallest AI supercomputer. Packing one petaflop of Black Bell powered performance and 128 GB of unified memory. So let's crack it open and see what this beast can do it for us. Stick around. So first flip this box around and take a few minutes of your time to read the fine print. At the bottom of this content, first read the warning about the battery. Inside your DGS Spark system is a small but very important component. It's a 3 volt CR2032 coin battery. This little battery powers the real-time system clock and helps retain critical settings like date, time and BIOS configuration, even when the system is powered off. It is designed to last a couple of years under normal use that's perfectly typical for a high-performance computing systems like DGS Spark. But when the battery eventually runs low, when you see a message during boot up prompting you to replace the CMOS battery, don't worry, this is completely normal. Most servers, workstation and embedded systems use this CR2032 cells for the same purpose. Now, what's in the box? So inside the box, you are going to see the DGS Spark system itself, a power adapter, a power cord, and a quick start guide to get you up and running fast. Your DGS Spark runs on NVIDIA DGX OS, a customized version of Ubuntu Linux 24.04. Now, once you hear the word Ubuntu, hold the excitement. If you are thinking of running apps like DaVinci Resolve, they are not going to work. Why? Because the DGS Spark uses ARM architecture not x86 so only software built for arm are going to run smoothly of course there are hacks involved but you have to find a hack your system also comes with one year hardware warranty and free online technical support that includes help with the current system software os updates and driver downloads all straight from nvidia so sleek hardware ubuntu based os arm powered and fully backed by nvidia support everything you need right in this box before we fire this machine, let's take a quick tour of the rear panel. First, locate the power button. It stays straightforward and easy to spot. Right next to the power button, there is a dedicated power input, a USB-C port that handles up to 240 watts of power delivery. So grab your included external power supply cord and a USB-C cable, plug it in securely and you're good to go. Moving along, you'll find three more USB-C ports, each clocking it at 40 Gbps speed for lightning fast data transfer. The leftmost one doubles as your power input, so use the next three for your peripherals, your external drives, keyboards, or whatever your gear you may need. Now please see that NVIDIA has completely dumped old USB-A support, no old USB-A anywhere. You will need to find it by an adapter and use it if you still want to use your old USB-A devices. Next to USB devices, USB ports, you'll find one HDMI port. You can connect your monitor here. It supports extremely high 4K or up to 8K high resolution. Next up is internet and speed. You will see one ethernet port which supports up to 10 GB data transfer. So you can plug in your network cable here. And at the last, you'll find two QSFP port, which have super fast support up to 200 Gbps. You can use this to connect two external DGX sparks together for a bigger AI jobs and build your own data center. Okay, so let's fire up your DGX Spark. Step number one, first you need to grab the quick start guide. Here you will find three key things, hotspot SSID, hotspot password, and a system setup URL. Keep this handy with you. Now step number two, you need to power on. Press the power on button on the back. Now before you connect a keyboard, listen up. Best way, you must use a USB-C keyboard directly. Now if you're trying to connect your mouse and keyboard through a Bluetooth, don't use it yet. Most Bluetooth keyword ask for a passcode and your DGS Spark machine will fail to connect. So they fail to pair. Now step number three, if you must have a USB keyboard, then you can use a USB-C to USB adapter with your regular keyboard. Finally, there's an easier way which I'm going to use. Just power on the Spark and it creates a Wi-Fi spot and you can set up your DGS Spark using a laptop, phone, iPad connected to that hotspot. I assume you already have powered down your Spark computer now. Now grab an iPad or another computer. Make sure that this computer is on the same local network. Go to your Wi-Fi setting and choose the Spark Hotspot SSID. It will show up something like Spark-E123. And it's going to ask you your Hotspot password. Now once it's connected, now open the new browser window or you can use the same browser window here. Now browse to the URL which was mentioned in your quick start guide. It will show something like HTTP colon slash slash if spark hyphen your machine name dot local all right 
So let me make it a little bigger so that you can see it. Control plus plus. All right, so first thing you will see, welcome to the DJS Spark, and you will see your get started button. Now click on this button. It's going to ask for simple settings. So for example, it will let you select your default type zone and it's going to ask you to accept terms of use. Accept. And then it's going to ask you to create your username. So put your username and choose a password. Click continue. All right, and this is going to ask you a couple of other settings. If you want to share the analytics and user data with NVIDIA, you can always, you know, um, update those settings later. All right. So I'm going to keep it like this. Click on the continue. Next thing is you're going to connect the Wi-Fi. Now it's going to connect to the actual internet Wi-Fi. So in my case, I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi and I'm going to type the Wi-Fi password. All right, it's going to take a minute to join the Wi-Fi network and then the real uh, Spark setup, Spark installation begins. So depending on your machine, it may take a couple of minutes. In my case, it took almost 20 minutes. And once it is done, it's very simple. Your machine is already ready to use. You can just click on the Get Started and immediately it takes you to another page. Make sure that you bookmark this page. You'll find tons and tons of really useful information on this page. And this is the reason you bought this machine. All of these things, what you can start building on the DJX Spark, you are going to find all those information on this web page. So please make sure I highly recommend it. I can't like, you know, stress is enough. Please bookmark it and visit each and every link. And that's what I will be doing in the near future videos.